Well, howdy, boys and girls, and welcome to Lens Playground. Uh, my name is Lens, and I bid you welcome on this wasteful land. Um, today we're gonna start the questline of New Vegas Killer, a new addition to the Some Guy series, one of my most favorite models. And here we can check out our courier's weapons, mighty knife. Bar is running right into the action. No, I don't want to hit him in his arm, I want to hit him in his face. Ghouls die better when you hit them in the face. And if you hit them, they die even better. Let's use this one. I love the knives, but they uh, they pose the problem that they are like a ton of additional aiming points for vets. So this is not um, helping in getting the aiming done faster. Come on, let me aim at your head. What is the matter with the mouse? Look at that. I move it like an inch. If I would know what an inch is, like a centimeter. And it's moving around the screen like crazy. Is it a common problem? Do, does anybody of you know a solution for that? I'm gonna take the next gun, the Jury Rigged SMG after this. I'm gonna survive it. That is. There are quite a few of them. But we had help by the NCR. Thank you very much. Regularly, they are quite useless in a fight, but in the last days, I got to like them quite well. And here we get some other guns. Also out of the courier package. But no enemies anymore. I don't know how long my reserve of Stimpaks will last while killing like that. Where? What? Who? Why? Oh god, it's, it's so slow. But all the others are quite quick. Where did you come from, brother? Yeah, they're nice guns. They're put together out of uh, parts of other guns. I uh, know there was a specific name for this kind of modding. Is he dead already? My god, are you quick. Did he shoot well? Over long distance? I don't think so. Who am I fighting? Oh my god. Another horde of ghouls. Why do I have so many ghouls? It's gotta, gotta have something to do with increased wasteland spawns. They chew through the NCR, and I hope they won't chew through um, other survivors, especially essential ones. Ah, it's looking quite nice on the side. Oh no. I don't think this is the right gun to fight a horde of zombies. Especially because you can't see a fucking thing. We'll use this one. At least it's automatic. No, I don't want to shoot the knife out of the air. It's got a very short barrel. Good god, great, yes. You, you've got a crowbar, lady? Lady, why do, do you have a crowbar? It's not, it's not like you're in Half-Life. Oh god, there are more coming. And there's another horde coming, I assume. Well, we can test out the guns quite nicely. 
and shoot through all our ammo. In a matter of seconds. Oh my god, this one is sexy as fuck. Yeah, we, we need to get them in between us so that we can kill them. Oh, it's automatic. Nice. Now we can kill them in a designated kill zone. And none of us will have to die. I shot you in the ass. Okay, this one is nice. This one isn't the same one, but scoped. And I have nothing over here. Let's use this one. So many dead people and zombies. Do we have a special zombie somewhere? One with the name? To find another uh, note or special weapon like I found in the last horde? It's a gigantic horde. Built out of very nice zombies. Let's still have shoes on. I don't think there will be a special zombie in here anywhere. So we're gonna go in here and listen to Bobby Bass's brass knuckles. Put on our gun because we don't wanna seem intimidating. Hello, madam and sirs. You've got a very nice painting behind your desk. What are you doing? Oh, you're watering the flowers. That's nice of you. You must be a good person. What's your problem, Josiah Peep? Your problem is that you don't talk at all? What's up, bro? Nothing much in you. Same old, same old. Hmm, okay, this is nothing of interest. Oh, you've got Taint and Bishop. Okay, I don't know what they're referring to. Taint is British for uh, the ladies' parts. And Bishop, uh, oftentimes in movies, persons are called Bishop or something. Let's have a seat. Nothing's up, Delilah. I know, you, you feel underappreciated because I don't talk to you quite so much uh, that what uh, okay. like you would like me to do. But Bobby Bass will talk to us, to all of us, after we saved. Bobby, good old man, good old chap. Hello there. Tell me I'm what Bobby you want to tell me. It's a real pleasure, a pleasure to meet you. You know, Judge Richter, he already he sent over the paperwork. I heard you took down Mr. Sugar. Now, there was some nastiness between you and the judge, and you know what? You looked right past that. You went ahead, you said, let bygones be bygones, dead people in the past. And you know what? <laughs> that takes character. You got to be magnanimous to be like that. And you know what? Yeah. You got good character. I can see that. You're a good person, good soul. And you know what? We're going to take advantage of that. We're going to do some good things around here. I'm really excited. That's fantastic, Bobby. Well, I, I, uh, I killed Judge Richter. But you don't know that because that wasn't another dimension. Or another reality. Or another possibility, perhaps. Multiple words and stuff like that. You don't understand me, I know that. But you can talk... Um, I will continue listening. I heard about Mr. Sugar, and let me tell you, I got no, not, not, Mr. Judge Richter, he's my boss, so I know he might have different feelings, but I do disagree with him on this particular point. I'm, Mr. Sugar, he, he was just trash. <laughs> we yes, don't, he was. We have these long meetings, Judge Richter liked his meetings, I don't like them, but we sit in these long ass meetings. We talk, we try to make normal conversation. You know, I try to be a normal person. Talk about the weather, sex, normal things. And Mr. Just Sugar, he's sitting over about. there with this strange look in his eye. He looked like he wanted to cut my throat in the meeting. And I said, you know, motherfucker, what's wrong with you? I thought he was one of them sociopaths. You know, he got no feeling. <laughs> you see, you know, he got no, he, he don't feel things. You know, like you see a pair of big titties, he don't get no heart on it. Motherfucker, what's wrong with what? you? What? I see the big titties, I get what's excited. That's normal fucking human behavior. He wasn't normal. 
Well, well, uh, I'd like to start working right away, but I will continue listening because you're very funny. He was all about that narrator. shotgun. He always talked about that shotgun. He slept with that shotgun. I think he fucked that shotgun. I think Did what was he? wrong with him, his, his penis got stuck in the chamber of that shotgun at night, <laughs> got all scarred up. And that is what caused the disagreement. He had that twitch in his eye. It was probably a twitchy, scarred penis. That's what the syndrome was. But you know what? We ain't here to talk about possibly. penises and shotgun chambers. We're here to talk about killing folk. It, it's yes. not it's not pleasant work, but it's work that's got to be done. You know, you know what we like? We like undertakers. You know, who the fuck wants to be an undertaker? You like playing a dress-up doll with fucking cadavers. It's disgusting work. That sounds funny. It's disgusting. But you know, somebody's got to do it. Nobody want to be hit, man. Nobody want to say, hey, motherfucker, here's a name. You go kill them. Everybody got their time coming, and we just we just making things right in the wasteland. You know, we get the name, we go kill them. And we do it in All a right. nice, agreeable fashion. We do it classy. I like class. You mean like shooting up all the body parts and dismembering them and uh, putting them in different parts of the room? Just, you just tell me. I, I'm continuing listening. Real quiet, and you're going to go, and you're just going to put it real gentle in the back of the head. Oh, like some that. Some people go in there swinging objects and oh. knives and shit, like they're some kind of crow magnet, motherfucker. I'm not. I'm not agreeing with that. I think that's disgusting. Gives us a bad reputation. You know what we need to do? We need to do things the right way. And not go in do there we? with a big gun, shoot them up close, make brains and snot and gore go everywhere. Imagine if, like, Especially your mom snot. had to go in there and clean up a mess like that. That's... That's just disgusting. I don't do that. I make a nice, clean body. And then they hand it off to the underkeeper, who a food fuck ever, and they take care of it. What do you think? You ready to take on some work? <laughs> yeah, man. Give me a name. All right, now, the first dumb. name, name of Pat. Not sure what gender, but all we know, it is a Pat. You're going <laughs> to kill this thing. Perhaps it's a Pat. Pat is too nice. All right, I, I, now I like manners. I like people to be polite, but there is such a thing as too much niceness. Mm -mm. Take one of my dogs, all right? I love my dogs. I take care of my dogs. I groom them. I train them. I love these dogs. Like but he sugar, sometimes like a dog is too shotgun. nice. He takes your leg and he treats your leg like it's a lady dog, and he tries to make sweet dog <laughs> love to it. And I have to kick it's that just dog in his in nature. The it's unpleasant. The dog snarls. Sometimes he bites. I keep kicking him in the testes till he learns. Okay. That's how I train these dogs. They're very responsive. You'll see my dogs are very pliable. They're very tame. They're very good. Anyway, they don't have testes anymore. Like one of those dogs that is trying to fuck everybody's shin bone, and that makes people uncomfortable. It makes things awkward. Awkward is is a is an unbearable yeah. feeling. You know, it's like it is. You caught masturbating, jerking off, somebody comes in that you don't like, it's very awkward. And that's what it's like being around him. Imagine okay, somebody him, in your, her? Come up to your, your town and it's like the whole town's caught masturbating. You need to take what? Mr. Pat, you need to take this little subsonic <laughs> 22, and you just need to real gentle put that right in his brain and turn him off. Now you'll find old Mr. Pat down around Good Springs. You go on there, watch out for Easy Pete, he's a weird old man. I know him. He's, he's, they got he's really smiles, weird. Local slut. I don't trust that bitch or her dog. She's one I of my friends. Dog so hard he forget he had testicles. After I was done with him, he just it'd be like a neuter without actually neutering. I, I, I understand you worked with a Mr. Randall, good Southern gentleman. You know his methods a little different from mine. You you will not be collecting fingers or whatnot. For God's sake, no. if, if we hear that you did not kill a person, you know. We'll fucking hear about it. We you know will. Who you are. We know you're not going to fuck around on us. So uh, just do what you do and come back and get paid. All right now. Take care. I will. I will see what I will do. Perhaps I will just not kill them. And are you are you in with it? We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill Pat, Veronica. Are you? What, what are you doing? Are you levitating? What are you levitating, Veronica? Stop flying up over me. You're not bigger than me. Look, you're not bigger than me. You're standing up there. I thought you were levitating. Did you see that? It looked like she were levitating. Josiah, goodbye. Baba's uh, just sitting here where you're brushing. 
Perhaps he wants to be brushed by yeah. But you, you don't want to brush him, okay. That's alright, I, I understand that. I hate you for it, but I understand that. Let's have a quick save. Let's have a quick save. Let's please have a fucking quick save. Game. You're not crashing on me again. Are you? No, you ain't. Good little game. Otherwise I would have had to get out the whip and show you his boss. Perhaps I would have to kick you in the testes. I'm not I'm not sure if I will still have to do it. Won't still have to do it because you know you're not seeming to follow my orders. Before a game now. We're not saving any ammo. Storm droid, fuck your metal ass. I will shoot you in the chest a million times. Okay, which gun did we not yet check out? We did this one, it was the one we already had out. We had this one and this one. They're all very nice guns. But I must say I really like my guns. I will take this one. On the 22. Is this one, it should be on, no, it, it, it will be nine, nine, nine is not possible, eight I thought, uh, I meant, I knew that it wasn't possible, it was not a failure by me, myself or I. Plus P, now we head over to Good Springs. We don't know who or what Pat is, but we will kill him, her or it. And we're gonna try to do it silently, smoothly. Perhaps we are not even gonna kill her. Him or it. Because, you know... We don't always do what other people tell us. Well, most often we actually do it. Um, most times when we do quests uh, we don't even know what is happening and just follow the orders of some authoritative figure who told us, go there, collect this, kill him, he's a bad motherfucker, bad mother, sometimes, are, are you bad? Are you the one? You're Con Colonel Angus, you're, you're pet, pickpocket pet. It's a little bit like, um, how's it called in English? In German it's called a Zungenbrecher, it would be translated to a tongue breaker, but this is not how it's called. Um, it's when you have, uh, have a combination of words that is... It doesn't take much more than some hillbillies and the smell of Brahmin dung. That is hard to pronunciate, especially more often after... Okay, how are you doing? Body motion, nice. You're so, you're so acknowledging me. What? Who? Where? Why? Is there something anywhere? No, it's it's nothing anywhere. I'm detected. That's that's something I don't like when I try killing people. Am I still detected? Who's seeing me? Oh, no, nobody's seeing me now. Somebody's seeing me. I think the pad is seeing me. Someone's fighting. What's what's the matter? I try to kill you. I try to kill you silently. And all you do is not dying the second I try to kill you. Colonel Angus, did you sure did you even great. try? I bet Trudy would be happy to see us. Try to save him. I I, I thought you would be uh, proud of him. What what about you? You've got a one of the shittiest test test rifles in the whole game. So let's get back to uh, Bob Bobbity McBobberton and his ugly shack that he's calling an office. Um, and after that I will bid you adieu again for today. 
I hope you will um, come back tomorrow for another episode of New Vegas Killer, which is me, the silent killer, sudden but deadly. Hope you had uh, a fun time, as I did, and leave me a like, a comment, or even a subscription. I always like comments best, and I repeat myself in saying that. But now I'm gonna talk to Bobby. So good to see you. Oh, we're gonna have a little talk. My story? What about Mother Goose? Word of advice. Don't ask too many questions like that in this business. I'm not afraid right? of y'all. You know, when you were working with Mr. Randall, you can all talk about your pasts and how you were wronged and you seek revenge or you got your heart <laughs> broken heart. or maybe you had a penile fracture oh in your youth. All the terrible things we try to forget. You like to bring that up and then talk about in poetic language <laughs> all the shit that you see. All the shit you want to do, blah, 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 fucking blah, blah. blah, I talk about a few things. Killing people, okay. plants, dogs, and titties. If you branch beyond that, odds are I okay. won't give a fuck. But then a few words. I'll make an exception. Since you're asking, I come from the East, all right? Now, you don't got to know much more than that. I got a strange fucking accent. Everybody always tells me I got a weird accent. <laughs> well, fuck you, you Western motherfuckers. You can just kiss my I thought you came from southern the east. ass. That's what I think. People say, that's not possible. How's it southern? Motherfucker, I walked. I got two fucking legs. I walked my ass here. It took me years. Damn near I got, got eaten by <laughs> death claws. Sucked up into some radioactive fuck-all tornado. But I fucking made it here, didn't I? Mm -hmm. How did you fucking do that? That's not possible. Kiss my ass. That's what I say. I came from the south. Not exactly where Mr. Randall came from. You know, it's all fucked up now. Hell, I don't much remember it. I was a young man when I left and came here. I've been here for decades, all right? And you know what? I do look young. Thank you very much. My appearance belies yes, my age. That's the kind of thing my mama would say. I think you're a robot. A good woman. Don't like to talk about my mama. I'm very sensitive about my mama. You know, she would make biscuits. You know what a biscuit is? You probably don't know shit about biscuits and gravy. It's a delicacy where I'm from. You're a delicacy where I'm from. So, um... Yeah, I'm not gonna talk to him uh, today anymore. Uh, we're gonna do that in the next episode. As I said, leave me something, whatever you like. Um, have a nice evening, day, morning, whenever you are watching this. And behave you well.